Welcome! You are watching the Getting Started with Premium tutorial. We will go over all the features you get with our light and business plans and the basics of managing your system. Once you've started a trial or purchased a plan, head over to the add-ons page to see all our premium features. Here you can browse free and premium features. Click on a premium application like Wiki to see the details page. From there, you can install this app into your account by clicking the Add Remove button. You will be given a choice of which projects to have the Wiki app installed. After you select a single project or all, you will also have a chance to select which teams will have access to this app. You can always manage this from the Teams and Apps page in the Manage Projects page. Once an application has been installed once, to install it to additional projects later, you can simply click on the Get More Apps button from the Projects application list. You can also disable modules you are not using to keep the interface clean. For example, if you are not going to use Dropbox, go to the Add-ons page, select Dropbox, and click Disable. To create a new project, navigate to the dashboard and click Add Project. Here, you need to select a project group first. Groups are a way to logically combine projects. Some common use cases are creating a group to house all projects pertaining to a client, a group can also be used to separate departments within your company, or you can use groups to separate freelance work and personal projects. Now, invite users to this project. Once invited, you can also select a team that has the needed permission level. For example, if you are inviting a client, you can select the Observer team, which has a read-only permission level. You will not be charged for users with this permission. Add more teams and install applications later from the Manage Projects page or the dashboard. Each project card has a cog icon, which gives you access to the Teams and Apps page. Groups are important to organize your projects, but also to give administrative permissions to your team, so managers can create new projects inside your groups and install premium applications. To add group administrators, go to the Manage Projects page and click the Group Admins button next to the group you want to add an administrator to. Sometimes teams can have issues accessing premium features. This happens when members of your team create projects in their own accounts. If a user reports not seeing the premium features, ask us to migrate the project for you into your own account. This is where group administrators are essential. Any user that should be able to create projects should be a group admin. The Tasks application has a number of premium features. Let's cover how to use them. Almost all task application features are tucked away behind the cog icon. To use the Gantt chart view, open the cog icon and select the Gantt view link. You can always go back to using list or Kanban views from here. Our premium subtasks allows you to create an unlimited level of hierarchies and add all the same attributes of a normal task, assignment, due date, priority, and so on. Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive will be available any place that you add an item. The Email In feature allows you to create tasks by sending an email to a special email address. Open the cog icon and select Email In the first time you will need to enable this feature by clicking the email in the Manage page. Then click Enable and you are all set. You can choose to have this feature automatically enabled for new projects by clicking on the Enable button. Let's go back to our project and click Email In again. You will see the email addresses to send to. You can click the Copy Email button to add it to your clipboard. Now all you have to do is send an email, the subject will be the title of the task, and the body will be the content. You can also export your tasks as a spreadsheet, make changes and import them back in, or import them into another project. The Wiki application is a great way to create internal documentation, plan large projects, or even publish your documents publicly to be accessible to anyone who has the public link. You can add multiple versions, compare versions, and even revert to an older version. Wiki documents allow you to add feature-rich content like images, tabular data, and more. To make a wiki public, click Edit and select Public from the drop-down. Now you will see the public link on the top of the wiki page. The Issue Tracking application is a great way to handle more advanced use cases than the Tasks application. For example, if you would like to assign a task to an employee but prevent them from being able to complete it until a manager approves it. Once the employee is done, he simply puts it in review and the manager is notified. The manager can then mark it back to open or complete it. Another feature of the Issue Tracker is the Embeddable Report Form. Navigate to the cog icon and select Embed Mode. 
You will need to add the selected script text at the bottom of your web page and the anchor tag anywhere in the page you want to have the report button appear. Here is what the button and form look like. The person will be able to add a title, body, and attach files. Once someone reports an issue, you will be notified. The issue will be marked as auto-reported. You have the option to reply to the person who reported the issue. If you mark it as complete, they will see the status change alongside your message. You can also specify a reply to email. If the person responds, they can email you directly. Finally, unlike tasks, the issue tracker allows for fast management of your issues by selecting all filtered entries and applying a mass action. The Invoices application allows you to bill your clients, create estimates, collect payments via PayPal, see outstanding amounts and enter payments. You can also manage a list of clients. If you've installed our CRM application, the client list will be merged. To get started, select the cog icon, then click on the Your Company link. Here you can update all the information that will appear on your invoices. To enable PayPal, click on the settings link from the cog dropdown. Creating an invoice is easy. Select a client or add a new one. Enter all the information about the invoice. You will notice that you can add entries from your time tracking application in FreedCamp. Once done, you can save it as a draft or email the client directly. Your clients will receive a professional PDF attachment of their invoice and a link to view it online. You can view the invoice at any time and send reminders to your client or add payments. The File Edit module allows you to edit files from FreedCamp directly without the need to download the file, make your changes, then go back to FreedCamp and upload it. Instead, with File Edit, click the Edit Online button inside a File View page. The first time, we will ask you to install a plugin on your computer, Windows, or Mac. Once installed, click on the Edit Online button, and the file will be opened with a default application for that file. For example, a Word document will be opened with Word. Make your changes, save, and close the file. Within a minute, a pop-up will appear asking you to describe what you changed and the option to save a new version or replace the original file. That's it, painless file editing. The CRM application is a great way to store your business contacts, process leads through a funnel, and store tasks, calls, and campaigns. Some features of the CRM. You can set a custom field for contacts, like maybe where you met them, or some unique ID you can use in your billing software. You can add a lead to multiple categories and drag them through as they progress. The best way to quickly update a contact is to go to the CRM application and type the contact's name in the search bar on top of the activity list. With project templates, you can save hundreds of hours by copying projects that have common items. Select the New Project dropdown from your dashboard and choose From Template. Select the project you want to copy. We suggest making a special template project and archiving it so it doesn't appear in your project list when you use FreedCamp, but you can also just use existing projects. Fill out the rest of the information. Now choose which application's content you want to copy over. You can select a new relative date to adjust all existing due dates against, or clear all due dates. Additionally, you can choose whether the set date is the starting or ending point to align due date items against. We will automatically move due dates that fall on a weekend to the following Monday. Now you will have a choice to keep everyone in the project and have their items assigned to them or remove assignments. Once the duplication is complete, you can keep the new project archived until you are ready to start. Launch the project duplicator and wait for an email from us. The last premium feature we will cover is backups, a complete export of all your data, including files. To enable it, go to My Account under the User dropdown. On the left side, select Backups. Choose monthly or weekly backups and save your settings. That's it! You will get an email with a zip file containing all your FreedCamp data. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the increased productivity from our premium plans.